Right at the beginning of the exam, there are a series of notes or instructions, and one of them does tell students that if a question is worth more than one mark, they'll need to show mathematical working to justify their solution. It really is important that students go back and remember to do that, so whenever they see a two mark question, they need to have some sort of working before they just go to an answer. And if it's a one mark question, then an answer by itself would be um, sufficient. So in 2020, one of the things we were really impressed with how well students did was their use of the graphics calculator. A, a graphics calculator can be used for more than just doing graphs. You can use it for integration, they can use it for derivatives, and it's important that they can show us that they know how to use that technology when it's available to them on that paper to that tech active um, paper. We also were really impressed with on those complex familiar and complex unfamiliar questions, students need to be able to show their logical setting out with the occasional sort of headings or, or linking statements so that it was easy for a marker to be able to understand that the student understood the subject matter and understood the process as they were going through. And I suppose the other thing we were particularly impressed with is that certain, certain times students will get to a point where they can't, that they don't feel they can go any further in a question, but they still write down some comments or some, this is what I would do if I could go further, or I know I've made a mistake in part A, but I'm going to use that for part B and part C, and still be able to earn those follow through marks to show they understood the maths, even though they made a mistake relatively early in the question. The first one would be the MyQCE website where they'll find a lot of resources, but amongst them they'll find the external assessment student guide for 2021. And in that, that will include things like what equipment they need for each assessment and study tips and preparation tips that they could use to help them get ready for the external exam. The other source would be the uh, QCAA website, um, the main website, and there they'll find the syllabus. Go to the glossary in the back of the syllabus to make certain you understand the terms that are used in the syllabus and you'd find sample exams and past papers with versions of the marking guides which may help the student to understand what we're expecting another student to actually do for those particular questions. And also on the uh, QCAA website, you'll, and yeah, so also the QCAA website, they'll find the uh, 2020 subject report which will uh, have a breakdown of what students did well at in the state, what they struggled with in the state, where they could improve on that particular paper and they could then use that uh, to help prepare themselves for the 2021 paper.